Hi there everyone, this is Randy, and today we're going to take a quick look at some of the additional ways we can share a document within Google Drive. If you open up a document, a sheet, or a presentation for example, you can click on share in the top right hand corner to view who has access to this document. We would see a list below of those individuals I have explicitly granted access to for the specific item. Now what happens if I want to share this with a large amount of individuals, either within our organization or parents. This is where we can change some of the visibility settings on the document to make this a little bit easier. If you click change to the right of private only you can access, you'll see a list of additional options we have that we can use for sharing this document. Choosing people at Glencoe District 35 with the link means I can easily send this document or presentation or sheet to individuals via an email or posting a link onto our website. Glencoe District 35 is the same setting. The only difference here is, again, it requires an account within glencoeschools.org, but here others can search for the document. So if they're working in Drive, they can use the search bar on the top to look for a document that I might have. I can also use anyone with the link. And this is a neat way that we can share a presentation, a spreadsheet, or document students have worked on with the world. The settings are View, Comment, and Edit. This is going to control the access others have to this document. This is a great way that this item can be shared with parents, grandparents, or even a document we want the public to see. The option on top, Public on the Web, allows this document to be indexed by search engines, so I can use Google to search for this document. I'm going to use anyone with the link and click Save to save these settings. Before I share it with individuals, I need to take the address, copy it, and then I can send it in an email to those that I want to give access to.